emergency technical analysis update on some of our plays starting off with bio nano guys the markets are literally dumping right now as i'm recording this we are dumping this is very scary guys but i do not think we have a high chance of actually making a reversal trend or having that correction in the near term there's a chance of course but i think it is a low chance and personally i'm i'm treating this as a great buy zone oh wow we did just break this literally this 23.6 percent retracement right now as i'm talking but a good entry point in the stock if you did not catch this dip i did predict in the last bio nano video if we broke this level of support i did say there was a low chance of that happening we did break it but i did predict this next move basically perfectly i said there's a high chance of bouncing right off 14 dollars. that's exactly what we did right at 14 dollars and one cents congratulations to anyone who loaded up more shares there you could have taken profits here at 15 dollars, or you could be in for the long run that is what i recommend with bio nano personally this is not financial advice but short term entry points i can be wrong this can be a horrible entry point okay but this is what i recommend not financial advice anywhere from 14 dollars and 50 cents all the way down to 14 dollars. if you see 14 dollars again that's where i would personally be loading up shares and i did load up a little bit of shares in the pre-market i did not think we were going to be bleeding this much but we did obviously um so but that's what we're looking at that's for the price action on on bio nano let's take a look at the daily rsi we are still over bucket there's really not much indication there let's look at the bollinger bands these are a good indication actually i do like these Okay, uh, they are signaling some decreased volatility, and let's actually look at the ten minute. Okay, in the ten minute, they're actually they're actually signaling increased volatility on the ten minute chart. Okay, this is actually a bearish sign short term. So, guys, this is a good opportunity to load up shares wherever we go. If we hit fourteen dollars again, there is an extremely low chance of breaking that fourteen dollar resistance level, unless the markets just continue to eat crap, which is entirely possible, right? But I, uh, it's it's not likely in my opinion. I can always be wrong. And is not financial advice because we are bleeding in the markets but next up let's take a look at microvision technical analysis on microvision let's take a look at this see what we're dealing with taking a look at the one hour chart guys we basically are trying to break down on this support level right here this ascending level it's not exactly clear where this level is going to be you know we could we could adjust it right here we could put it right there it's a little unclear right now I think that's probably the most the, the safest level we probably do that we do have one two three uh four five and six now touch points. If we do break to the downside, guys, and you were thinking about establishing a position in this stock, this is going to be an extremely strong level of support. We're sitting at roughly around uh, right under twenty dollars, so roughly like nineteen dollars seventy eight cents, going all the way down to eighteen dollars and eighty cents, roughly any anywhere in that range is going to do you extremely well long term. I'm extremely confident in that. But of course, if the markets don't recover, if the markets crash or correct, and we don't recover, the markets can take everyone and kill everyone. Literally with it okay it doesn't matter if you have good stop picks if the market decides to screw us all over we will all die <laughs> literally we are all screwed but uh, again i think there's a low chance of that happening okay but just keep this in mind this is why plays like uh like this right here uvxy this is why we have these um but take a look but there's not really else to, much else to dissect about microvision we did break out of this bull pennant unfortunately we are kind of trying to confirm the breakdown hopefully this is i mean this is a good buy this is a good buy zone in my opinion we are in this ascending trend line we do have multiple levels of support coming up but this is going to be your good buy zone okay roughly twenty dollars a little slightly under twenty dollars that's your buy zone for microvision in my opinion this is going to this is going to do great things this is going to fifty dollars end of year at least okay in my opinion easily okay also taking a look at agtc okay this one is so weird i this is such this is the weirdest stock i've covered in a while okay so many false breakouts but one thing that we did have that was really clear we did come all the way up to nine dollars and 66 cents i did shave off a little more of my position when we were right up here well i don't know i think it might have been right here actually i might have yeah i think i sold like right up here um i'm not I'm not exactly sure i think i no 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 okay i sold right here this is the pre-market for today i sold right about here um I sold a little bit of my shares, but guys, short term, where do I see this going? Well, right now we are in this bull pennant. Now we are confirming the breakdown. It looks like, but of course, the stock is so irrational that you really never know. <laughs> really, I mean, we had, we, we were we were in this bull pennant, then we broke out. Then we then I thought we were in this one. Then we broke out again. Now we're back in it. So it's really weird. But if you are looking to establish an entry point, this is what I recommend: seven dollars and it, well, really eight dollars. 
because there is going to be a natural buy wall at eight dollars that's how it is for every every stock if you don't have level two data i guess you wouldn't know that but that's how it is at every even dollar mark usually there's going to be a huge buy or sell wall depending on which way you're moving okay so anywhere from eight dollars down to seven dollars and 59 cents roughly that's going to be your first level of support and that is probably an extremely strong level and strong entry point in my opinion if we dip below that this would be an amazing i will be adding more shares if we dip all the way to seven dollars and 13 cents uh going to the close uh all the way as high as seven dollars and 17 cents if we dip below that i am adding a ton of shares exactly guys it's highly improbable highly unlikely let's take a look at how the markets are doing okay this is really, one of them going one of them's going up one of them is doing a little bit of both and one of them's going way down okay this is really really interesting day in the markets uh yeah it's a bloody day Let's take a look at my account. Okay, I'm down like seven hundred dollars on the day, almost. Okay, but I'm I was up two thousand dollars yes or two thousand two hundred three hundred dollars yesterday, right? So this is how investing is, guys. I did I did open a ton of positions. Uh, we are going to be getting that into that soon. But BioNano, we are in a buy zone, in my opinion. We are in a buy zone for all these stocks. Okay, this is why you want to keep a little bit of dry powder on you at all times. If you if you can, if you want to, that is probably a good idea. Um, okay, so taking a look at my current positions, guys. We did open up CTRM. These are all small positions. Um, so just to keep that, these are all extremely small positions. Okay, CTRM, I did buy a little bit of CTXR and Sundial Growers. Um, let's take a look at how at the exact dollar amount that I have in each of these positions. Okay, I'm down in all of them, okay, currently getting killed, right? But you know, it is you know less than 10% of my portfolio, right? I'm only down what $55 right now, right? So, but just keep this in mind, it's never a good idea to go down. It's never it's never good being down, but I'm just saying, right? You know, if 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 these stocks were down that much, obviously that would be a problem. But you know, these are just small positions. I saw them on a great dip buying opportunity. I thought it was a great opportunity. Obviously, I missed time to buy a little bit, but long term, guys, I'm not worried at all short term and midterm i'm not even worried about all, worried at all about these stocks okay this is not an in-depth analysis on these videos but basically i have their their risk risk level as all all as medium for me um they are all penny stocks so they are going to have a lot of risk but for me uh any company that i buy i've already done the due diligence on i already know pretty much as as much as i as much as i can about the company about the financials the fundamentals the business model pretty much everything that i can get my hands on at least on the internet right so you know these are my price targets okay yeah, I do have the price targets in buy lace. We are still working on that. But you guys take a look at the buy hold, buy hold or sell column right here. Oh yeah, and by the way, these are the current prices now. Okay, they do update. They are a little slow at updating, but these are the current prices. Um, you can see the formula right there. Um, but yeah, these I'm never gonna these nine nine and a half k. This is actually I updated this like you know uh, <laughs> three hours ago, right? But um these are all buy zones okay don't really worry about if it's 9.9 9 and a half or nine okay the all the green ones these are buy zones in my opinion guys these are great opportunities the only way that you will not make money okay we are bleeding still dang agtc wow a lot of bleeding okay you guys you're gonna get this opportunity really soon right after this maybe okay look to load up if you want to it's your choice now financial advice do your own risk assessment see if this is a good investment for you microvision wow we are bleed we are trying oh we're just hovering right on that ascending level of support It'd be interesting to see if we break that and got to try to come down here to retest the support or if we're going to see a bounce bio nano let's do one last little update looks like we are basically trying let's look at the 10 minute though we're basically trying to confirm this as the support but we're kind of struggling we do have multiple levels of support here though would be interesting to see what happens guys hopefully we don't freaking have a market crash by the time y'all are seeing this but that's what we're looking at um so these are my three new new positions. There are the price targets. I do have price targets for two of them. BioLace and Sundial, we are still looking to get, and these are going to be long-term plays for me, most likely. I do have a long-term uh, bear case and bull case price target for them. Relevant information in regards to the title is finished now. Feel free to click off, my friends, if you have better things to do. Extra useful information, beginners. This is actually really important for beginners. I, I also have been seeing comments about this. Okay, this is these are the three YouTubers, in my opinion, that you are going to be able to trust with a little bit of trust, at least. Not you know, don't trust anyone. I always say that don't trust anyone, but these three are worth your time, at least most of the time. I would say. Um, so the first one, dead inside. 
Trace Trades, Zip Trader. All right, let's analyze these guys real quick, just like in a couple sentences. Dead Inside is probably the most accurate over the long term. Um, he's also got a great community on on Reddit. Track Stocks is a great subreddit. Feel free that that there's a ton of great information on there. Okay, Trace Trade. He's probably the most transparent YouTuber out there. After me, I mean that seriously. He's the only person that I've seen that it literally shows you his positions and his exact trades that he places. I don't know Dead Inside, Zip Trader. These guys don't do this. Also. Dead inside, I like him because he actually gives his reasoning for stocks that he likes. Same with Trace Trades. Zip Trader is amazing. He gives a little bit of reasoning, not as much as these two, in my opinion. But he is his Zip Trader is good as well. So if you're if your YouTuber that you like is not on here, don't freak out. It doesn't mean I, it doesn't mean you shouldn't. It doesn't mean you should stop watching them. It just means that they are not in the top three, in my opinion. And guys, I will say I don't know all the finance YouTubers out there. I'm sure I'm missing a couple that are really good. I I have not been watching a ton of YouTube lately, right? I've been making a ton of videos. That's what my time has been on, right? But if your guy's not on here, that probably means if I've seen them that I don't think they're as transparent or accurate as these guys. So just be careful. That doesn't mean I hate them, okay? <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't like your YouTube guru that you have besides these guys and me, hopefully, okay? <laughs> but just keep all this in mind, okay? Just be careful out there. there. There's a ton of there's a ton of horrible YouTubers in finance. I will tell you that for sure, okay? I don't think you need me to tell you that. It's pretty obvious. I will make mistakes, guys. This is a perfect example. This is this today is a perfect example of me making mistakes. All right, look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm looking at. I'm down six percent in two of the positions I just opened today, right, guys? This happens to everyone. This this isn't just me. This isn't just uh, a one-time thing. Okay, you're going to make mistakes all the time. You can never be perfect in timing. Now, what you want to be, you what you want to limit your mistakes on are these bad boys right here. All the price targets, like the long-term to mid-term price targets. If you're making a lot of mistakes in those, then you probably need to maybe change your strategy and actually do some assessment to see if trading and investing is for you. You. But short term stuff like this, guys, I mean, I, I've already told you guys, I'm not worried about this. I'm not losing any sleep over this. Now, what I will lose sleep is, over is the markets. Okay, This is what scares me. This is my worst nightmare right here. The market's just dumping and killing us all. That is my biggest fear. But in the in the individual plays that we're in, all of these guys, I have no stress on any of these plays. Okay, As you can see, none of the risk is high for me. Okay, A lot of uh, okay, most of these plays would conventionally be orthodoxly be considered high risk okay these are just my personal risk evaluations please okay this is not updated don't pay attention to this this i think it's like 16 or 15 now but but these are just my personal risk evaluations okay that 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 goes to tell you how much risk i think these are okay obviously this is my risk assessment i don't think any of them are high risk very low mara most people this is a volatile stock uh, this is a very low risk for me long term right short term the, I mean, if you're going to panic sell and you have paper hands, yeah, it's extremely high risk. Get if you have paper hands, you should not be in that. You should not be watching this channel, or at least if you do, you need to not be trading. You need to just be learning. If you actually are someone that's going to be prone to panic sell, because guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care how I don't care if these dip another five percent. I'm not selling because I've done the research and I know that these are going to my price targets unless a freaking market crash happens and we don't recover or the CEO gets shot in the head. Right? I say it every time something crazy like that yeah okay that that will change the price targets but other than that these are going to the these price targets 100 percent in my mind be careful in the comments bitcoin bots are here okay one of their comments got like 60 likes last video it's insanity okay what does auspicious descent actually mean auspicious means conducive to succeed conducive to success favorable um and then descent means a differing or contrarian opinion so basically it's it's uh likely to succeed contrarian opinions that's basically what this channel is about and what that actually is is you're looking at it this is not the typical way to build wealth okay but as you can see it's working out at least short term uh, you know uh, in four three and a half months it's worked very well for me personally and yes we're in a bull market yes we haven't seen a bear market in a while this is true but personally guys i'm I have full confidence in this. I have full confidence in what we're actually doing. Okay. Most people would not consider this a reliable strategy of investing. Okay. If you're here, you already know it's possible. You've already, I mean, you've already seen my gains and I'm sure I know a lot of you have made a lot of gains. Also, by the way, if you're, if you're panicking on BioLace real, real quick, guys, I'm holding, let's take a look at BioLace real quick. Let me show you this. Guys, I'm holding all 1,896 of my shares. Okay. I'm net. Let's see how much I'm down in BioLace right now. 
I'm down. Okay, I'm down pretty much nothing, but you know, I am down in bio lace and I'm holding. I'm not panic selling. Okay, guys, take notes on this. Okay, it's not very complicated though. Just don't panic sell. <laughs> That's pretty much all I'm trying to tell you. I don't, th I th I'm still confident. Okay, I'm still confident. Guys, I'm telling you, if you do the research and you do and you take the time to, to think before you just go into plays randomly, you're not going to panic sell. Like, I'm not worried. I truly do appreciate all the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Thank you all so much. Thousand, a thousand subscribers, guys. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I sound like a broken record. So every YouTuber on the planet has said that, but please do not hesitate to call me out on something. If I'm missing something in the charts, fundamentals, or anywhere else, use several brokers, okay? Even beginners, you all need to know this. Several brokers, there are, there are numerous advantages to this. For example, pre-market after hours trading with Weeble. But before we get to that, follow stocks you are on Reddit and Twitter. There will be free stocks with Weeble in the description linked below um and there are there are there are obviously pre-market and after hours trading as i said common what stocks i need to cover next open a roth ira come any questions i will answer them and really quickly i will never cave we have a thousand subscribers now right i think that's the limit that they they put on you before you start putting ads in your videos okay you don't you guys don't have to worry about that i don't have to worry about that okay ads is never happening i'm not even that's never going to happen you're never going to see ads on my videos you are welcome i will never put also by the way if you think i'm ranting this is the section that i'm allowed to rant if you have more important things to do you all need to uh not stay for that if you're really in a, in a time rush for now right now or something you know but yeah, the future does not consist of likes or me asking for subs or ads. And the success is not going to change my mindset. I'm, I'm firmly, that's my firm belief uh, that YouTubers should not be doing that to their viewers. Cause I personally have suffered so many hours of my life. Cause I watched so much YouTube over the years of watching ads of watching people ask for likes and subs. And I'm just like, I clicked on the title for the information, not this BS. Why does this keep happening? Right? So what you can do to make the ads new YouTube standard. Okay. Just, you guys know what you can do. Okay. The more get, the more following we gain, the more likely other people are going to change their channel to adapt to the new times that, is going to be more efficient more high quality more less wasted time that's the new standard that we're trying to set guys thank you so much and i'll see you all in the next one